Hello everyone, it's Sandra, and today we're going to take a peek inside my everyday makeup drawer. I did one of these videos back at the beginning of summer and a lot of you really enjoyed it and requested that I do something similar every season or whenever I switch out my everyday makeup. It's definitely time. I have some summer stuff in there that I haven't been reaching for. I also like to put the stuff that I want to focus on using up in there. That way it's easy for me to grab. So let's go in there and take a look. Are you going to help me clean out my makeup drawer today? Are we, are we, okay. I guess we're not on speaking terms. This usually is categorized pretty well. It's definitely not right now. It's kind of a mess. I usually try to do complexion products over here, lip products over here, some extras here. And then here I do cheek products. And then here I usually do eye products. So I'm just going to take everything out, clean this drawer and go over the things that I'm keeping in here and the things that I was using a lot in the summer that I'm not using. I love to wear this in the summer, and this is my summer shade. This is the Lancome Tante Doll. I use shade 230 Buff W in the summertime, and then I do have a winter shade in this foundation that I recently used up. I wanna focus on using up some other foundations that I have before I go back to this, but this is a great foundation. I wear this year round. I love mixing this with other foundations. I like wearing it by itself in the summer. Definitely come back again. I was planning on putting this away because this is definitely more of a, of a summer product for me, but I really, really, really like this. I've actually tried mixing it with a Pat McGrath foundation and I really like the effect. This foundation is another foundation that's more of a summer foundation. Really did not like this at first and I was just compelled to try it again because so many people said that it's really, really great for oily skin and that I should just keep playing with it and figure out a way that I enjoy wearing it. And I actually really like it mixed with the Burberry Sheer Glow. So I'm glad I have a way to use this up. And this is definitely more of like an oil controlling foundation and I'm just not that oily right now. This stuff I think I'm going to keep and I'm gonna go over it in, in more detail when I put this back together. But here we have this foundation which I love. This is the Giorgio Armani Cushion Foundation. I just saw this on the US Armani website, which is exciting. But the bad news is they only have it in three shades, which is awful. The shade range to begin with of this foundation, even in Canada and in Europe, is just awful. I think the original shade range is like six or seven shades. To only release three shades in the United States is not that great. And my shade, which is 4.5, is not one of the shades that they have released in the US. I think they only have two, three, and four. I'm going to give it a break because I'm trying not to use it too much. I could use this year round every single day, but because of the limited availability issue, um, I'm going to just put it away and focus on using up other stuff first. In here, we have this cream blush from Clarins. This is a really nice peachy color. I really don't like the bronzing stick. Um, it works nice as an eyeshadow, but it's not a really great cheek product in my opinion. But the blush is really, really nice. And this is definitely more of a summer color for me. So I'm going to put that away for now. This is also more of a spring summer product. This is a Giorgio Armani Neo Nude. It's like a liquid blush. This is really, really beautiful flush of, of color. It's really sheer, but really pretty. And I just don't, don't see myself reaching for this that much in the winter time. In here, this I wanna keep because it has really nice fall winter shades. It has a really beautiful array of colors and I have not used this in a long time. Um, this eyeshadow palette is one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes for summertime and I enjoyed using this, but again, not reaching for it right now. This is a really nice just eyeshadow topper. It's from Lancome. It's a multi-purpose product. It has an interesting cream to powder type of texture and it also works well as a highlighter too, but I mostly use this as eyeshadow. This color is by Lise Watier. It's the color Loafer and I see myself using this a lot. This I'm trying to use up. This I'm going to keep. Oh, I'm gonna take this out too. This is a Guerlain foundation brush. This was amazing with the Giorgio Armani cushion foundation. I really like that combination, um, but since I took the cushion foundation out, I'm gonna take this out as well.
This is not something that I use all the time, but I like to have it as an option. This is something that I usually keep right in there. And this area right here is usually where I keep my lip products. And I have this NARS lip pencil in the color Lodi. This is one of the products I'm trying to use up for my Project Pan 2019, so I'm gonna put that in there. This Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. This is in the color number 20, Enjoy the View, and it's this really pretty, rusty, neutral. I think it's a beautiful color for fall. I've been wearing this a lot, actually. I'm going to put that in there. For more of a nude option, I have Tom Ford First Time. This is a matte lipstick. It's one of my favorite peachy nude lipsticks ever. And I've had this for a really long time, and I, I would like to, to use it more because it is one of my favorites and I haven't reached for it in a while. So I'm gonna put it in here to try and get more use out of it. Gloss options, I have these two. The Burberry Lip Lacquer in the color Rosewood and then the Clarins Lip Perfector. This was a limited edition. I think it's called Red Redberry Glam. Absolutely adore these. I'm gonna put them in there. For a nice fall everyday lip, I've also been enjoying this YSL The Slim. This is a sheer matte lipstick and it's in the color 112. Again, it's a really beautiful coral, but for fall. This I've actually really been enjoying with the Burberry Rosewood on top. So I kind of have more everyday lips and then a nude and then glosses. And then for lip liner, I've been loving the Burberry Lip Contour in the color medium. I, th I think I've been mentioning this in every single video I've put out ever since I rediscovered this and still still love it very much so i'm gonna put it in there i also have my urban decay eyeshadow primer this is a foundation that i'm trying to use up it's the ysl all hours i've actually really enjoyed mixing it with this this is the burberry sheer glow which is another one of my project pan products for the year but this if i put it in here i can't close the drawer so I've been storing it like this. This is another foundation that I'm trying to use it up. I have maybe a quarter of the tube left, but it's the By Terry Sheer Expert. I use shade number seven. I think this is discontinued now, which is unfortunate, but I really enjoy this as a sheer everyday foundation in the winter time. I'm going to put it in there because this same thing, I can't close the drawer if I put it here. This is going back just because I've really been enjoying it with the Pat McGrath foundation. And the Pat McGrath foundation, again, I bought it to be Sort of a replacement for the By Terry, just a nice everyday option that looks really natural on the skin for fall and winter. So I'm gonna put these right there. Another foundation that I love, and it's one of the foundations that I reach for in fall and winter is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. This is great for travel as well because it doesn't count as a liquid, so it's something that I always pack with me if I'm only traveling with a carry-on. This slot is where all my concealers usually go, and if you've seen my top five favorite concealers video, you will have seen most, most of these. Nothing has really changed in my concealer game. I, these are actually all the concealers like the under eye concealers that I own because this can't stay upright, so I usually store that in here. But we have the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, the YSL Touche Claw High Cover, the regular YSL Touche Claw, and the Armani Power Fabric Concealer. So this is the Secret Camouflage Concealer, my go-to concealer for blemishes. I have one more slot here, and then I have two hydrating primers, the Rolls Royce of face primers, the Sicily, Double Tensor, this is so good. This mixed with this is like the bougiest no makeup makeup. The price tag of this is eye-watering, so I try not to use it too often, but it does make my skin look really, really nice. This, again, is a product that I've talked about lots of times. I won't say that they're direct dupes, but if you're looking for just something that just gives you a nice shot of, of freshness that's totally water-based, this is nice. I like to mix this with foundation sometimes, and I also like to mix this with moisturizer to make it a little bit more lightweight. This is another hydrating primer that I've been loving. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. This works really well underneath the Pat McGrath foundation, actually, and this is a lot more emollient than this. This gives like an instant lifted look. Is it really normal to have three hydrating primers? No, it's not. Nobody needs three hydrating primers, but this makes me really happy. I love playing and trying different textures, so I have all of these, but by no means is it necessary. So 
I'm gonna put that in there because it's too tall to stand up. I'm also going to throw this in there. I'm still trying to make this work. It's the Guerlain L'Essentiel foundation in the shade 2W. This actually works well with this underneath. This has been the only way that I've been able to enjoy the way this looks. This has been the eyeshadow palette that I've been wearing for the last couple of months and I'm still loving it. So I'm gonna put it back. It's the Tom Ford Coco Mirage Quad. Then I really, really wanted to buy the Victoria Beckham, one of her quads, the, the one that's really warm. I think it's called Tweed. But then I decided to look through the stuff that I own and I think I can I can get a very similar look using the shades in this palette. And then for single shadows, I have the Boho Chic from Lee's Watier. This is really nice with the Tom Ford quad if I ever need a little bit of an extra shine. Then we have Lee's Watier Loafer, which I still very much love. I just love to wear this by itself. And the texture of this matte eyeshadow is so beautiful it's like butter really really easy to blend then the last eyeshadow that i have in here is this old single shadow by gucci i don't think they have this anymore i think gucci beauty has recently had like a revamp but it's just a kind of like a basic bronzy brown type of shade i haven't been into eyeliners so i usually keep some eyeliners in here but i took them all out because i haven't been using them i have one more eyeshadow here that's from burberry it's an old color that's discontinued now. I think it's called taupe brown, but this is what I like to use in my eyebrows. So I keep that in there. In this section here is where I like to keep complexion color products, so blushes and bronzers, as well as face powders. So for face powders, we have my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This is what I use to set my T-zone. And then I have my Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder, which is what I use to set my under eyes. For pressed powder for the face, I have the Pure Golden Medium Mineral Powder. I love to wear this actually just by itself. I apply it with a kabuki brush, and this is a really easy throw on. It gives me a little bit of coverage, just makes me look more put together, and it takes me a minute <laughs> to get ready. For a pressed powder that gives me a little bit of a glow, nice little glowy airbrush finish, this Sicily HD Blurring Powder. This is a beautiful finishing powder, but it has no oil control, so just keep that in mind. And the most similar thing that I've tried to this is the Hourglass ambient lighting powders. So if you like to set your makeup with the Hourglass ambient lighting powders, you will love this. Then I also have this Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. I haven't been contouring in a while, but I, I feel like I should start again. So I just want to have this in there. And then same with this product. This is the Burberry contouring pen. I've had this for a long time and I really, really enjoy it but I haven't used it for a while, but then I saw that Victoria Beckham was using it in her video with Lisa Eldridge, so that inspired me to take this out again and play with it. And I'm going to put it in here just so that it kind of stands out, so I'm, I'm more likely to reach for it. For bronzer, I have this Clarins SOS Bronzing Base. This is another one of my Project Pan products that I'm trying to finish for the year. By making this the only bronzer I have available in the drawer, I'm more likely to use it up. Then these two blushes are also part of my project pan. I can't believe I still haven't hit pan on this. I've been using this every day. This is the gift that keeps on giving. It's Bobbi Brown Powder Pink. Then we have the Tarte Exposed, which is a beautiful, neutral, mauve type of blush situation. Again, the gift that keeps on giving. I've had this for so long. I'm adding one cream blush that's very fall appropriate to the rotation. This is the color Be Lovely from Lila B. It's a lip and cheek color, and this doesn't have as much shine to it as the Bobbi Brown formula, but it works so nicely as both a lip and a cheek product. It's very creamy, it's easy to blend, um, it doesn't stay tacky on the skin, which I love. For highlighter, I have the YSL Touche Glot Shimmer Stick. This is still a favorite. Then I also got this sample of the Glossier Cloud Paints and I'm excited to give them a try. I've never tried them. I know that they get tons of good reviews. Then the last thing we have is a makeup setting spray. I like the Urban Decay one in the summertime. This is really nice. It helps with longevity a little bit, but I just love the way that it kind of makes everything look, makes everything look nice and sealed. But especially if you're somebody that likes to use a setting powder, and this has been a favorite of mine for years. I, maybe it's like my fifth or sixth bottle of it. I love it, we'll always go back to it. It's the Clarins Fix Makeup. I think this is it. 
way better than what we started with. I'm really happy with this lineup and a lot of these products are products that I've been wearing every single day. So if you ever wonder what's on my face, when you see my face on Instagram or in videos that I've filmed lately, chances are a lot of them are right in this drawer. Let me know if you spot any favorites. Let me know what your favorite products have been. So that concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if I end up switching anything out, if I end up doing any, any major switch ups for winter, I will be seeing you again in a few months with one of those videos. If not, I will definitely be seeing you with a spring one because that's gonna be a big switch up as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.